Hello, and welcome to Smosh Mouth. I'm Shane. And I'm Amanda, and we have some very special guests with us, Anthony and Courtney. Yay! That's it's right. Me. me. And there is a reason they're here, and that is because this Friday is Anthony's funeral, our big live show. It's the biggest event of the year. Uh, <laughs> and we've had some big events this year. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, that is directed by Courtney. Yay. Yeah. Is this your first, like, big tentpole project that you've completely been in charge of like this? I think 100%, yeah. yeah. Like, I want to call like that promo that we put out like my real directorial debut, but Ooh. like my my real, real one was every TikTok ever. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but yeah, it's been really cool. The day we're recording this, uh, is first of all the day we're celebrating Smosh's 18th birthday. Yay! Yay! Ooh, That's also, insane. Legal. So we just finished editing the promo, and you watched it, and I and yeah. I was like, I was like, what is he thinking? It's so good. It's so good. And that that concept was pretty much entirely crafted by you, right? I pretty much. I knew yeah. I wanted a spooky vibe, and like I talked to the whole like a room of our team and like eventually got to one lane because I was like, oh, but it's like Exorcist or like a slasher or yeah. like Scream. And it was like, okay, we need to simplify. Wait, so um, what made you think, what made you think you wanted it very spooky? Like what was your first idea of it? Because the other funeral roasts have been just kind of like the same theme each time, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah, we were always careful not to lean into the like spooky funeral cemetery vibes too mm -hmm. much. But originally, <laughs> originally the show was going to happen a little bit earlier in the year. A little closer to another holiday. Uh, yeah. Until, <laughs> until, oh, yeah. Until a couple of boys decided they wanted to do food battle 2023. Oops. Oopsies. Yeah, we were going to have so many things to promote at once if we were trying to mm -hmm. put it out around the same time. No, this was has been the craziest two months, I'd say, ever. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad because, like, I remember you talking about how back at Defy, you and Ian were so miserable because you're so busy doing so much stuff, so many projects, and here you are. Yeah, but it's so different because <laughs> we have the confidence that you will be able to take this and run with it and crush it. And back in the Defy, <laughs> oh, come Why on. Why do you trust me? Oh. Oh, you, you, <laughs> you're very on. trustworthy. No, you're, you're, and, and I mean, if you've seen any of this, the, the stuff that you've done, you would know why we trust you. Yeah, because Courtney, you've directed I, all of the funerals? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you've directed all of the funerals and you did the promo. Like, you're Why a boss. Why do you trust me doing this thing that I'm really good at? <laughs> yeah. oh, it's really cool. This one is, like, truly a whole new level. It's, like, completely leveled up. Like, the costumes, the sets, the, the yeah. roasts. And well, it's like, a ticketed event this time. So, I mean, I know you did a ticketed event for, for Ian's, mm -hmm. but, but this is, we're, we're leveling it up in every way. This one's yeah. going to be huge. I think this is the first time we just didn't, we didn't have the, uh, I mean, I don't know, we're in a place now where we can really go full force with this since yeah. we're, you know, Smosh is its own entity. Mm -hmm. We're independent. We, we're like, we're putting as much money in this go. as right. it needs to have we in order to We don't have to, to get the amazing. approval from anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we can commit as much as we want to this, and this is going to be the biggest event we've ever done. Yes. I mean, it's looking like nothing else we've ever done. I mean it's the promo amazing. the promo is truly like the coolest I think we've ever looked. And also we had full wardrobe, full makeup. Yeah. It looked amazing. We had so much time to shoot the promo. Multiple it, days dedicated multiple to days. shooting that promo. It felt very thought out. It was stunning. We all got very specific characters, but I feel like all the characters meshed really well, which I feel like is is different than the other funerals. It was more like what character do you want to play? Mm -hmm. Whereas this one like, did you guys know what characters you wanted to do when you were creating it? Like, well, to start? First off, yeah. first off, going back, how early on this year did you guys realize you wanted to do this? Because yeah. we've oh. been planning this for months. Yeah, yeah. I pitched it to Ali, I think. Our CEO. Our CEO, mm -hmm. I think late July or early August. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, and right after Ian and I announced that we were buying Smosh back, aside from Food Battle, wow. honestly, it was like Food Battle, Food Battle, Food Battle, but then also Funeral Roast, Funeral Roast, which is really cool because the food bat the people that were fighting for Food Battle to happen mm. were kind of the classic Smosh fans, while the mm. people that were commenting how much they want the Funeral Roast to happen are the newer Smosh yeah. fans. So True. So this is this was such a cool way for us to link both of these fan bases together and kind of have a moment of harmony between them, especially oh, yeah. because at the end of Food Battle, we are promoting 
the funeral. Yes. It's, yeah. it's so cool to have a tent pole event lead into another tent pole event. Yeah, right yeah. Away. Our viewers are fed. <laughs> oh, they. Oh, yeah. And we ate with that yeah. promo. Yeah. Um, Frankly. But, but yeah, yeah, so back in, you said July? Yeah, late July, because Ali wanted, she was like, oh, like we have a live show. Like, what do you have any ideas? And like, I had had the funeral in my pocket for a while because I knew it was like, we were going to do it eventually. Yeah. yeah. What better way to bring it back than in this like huge way? And um, yeah, and I, and I, as I thought about it, I was like, okay, well, we got to bring the banger characters of the funeral series. So like, got to have the will, got to bring mm -hmm. the coroner in. And like, Amanda always kills it with characters on the show. And then we never had chosen on the funeral. So it kind of like slowly built out. And then um, people were saying, I, I wasn't planning on being in it originally i was mm -hmm. just gonna like because it's it can be really tough to direct and then be in stuff yeah yeah, yeah. um and then people were like no you should be in it and i was like okay well the only idea i have is bikini girl <laughs> like, it makes so character. much sense <laughs> iconic <laughs> no especially feeding off of the end of food battle where that was kind of where that character was born exactly. yeah really that was yeah. the first bikini girl i think so at least that was the first recurring bikini girl <laughs> character <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think so and i think that we literally because in in the most recent food battle we joked we had a pokedex readout mm -hmm. the stats of of bikini girl and it was like uh, typically used by uh, juvenile incels for clickbait thumbnails. Yeah. And that really was the, the logic behind it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was like, we gotta, oh. we're getting on the front page. We got to get something super clickable in there. So wow. that ended oh up my being, God. Um, and back in the day, that was scantily clad women. Yes, it was. Um, so you're bringing oh, back yeah. scantily clad women in a big way. Oh, damn right. Yeah. Two big ways. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Um, yeah. Get ready for that. Yeah, now and, everyone's going to come. That uh, is the lore, and Bikini Girl will have a lot to say about that. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Uh, we have been hard at work on our roasts uh, yeah. for, for a while now. Because I am not supposed to know uh, no. a lot of the no. stuff that's going no. on behind the scenes. You, you do know the hardly, characters, but. <laughs> you saying hardly working is a joke. That's yeah, so you're funny. You're working all the time. Yeah, yeah you're doing pretty much nothing. <laughs> Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, it, it does feel really good, though, to like you were saying back in the Defy days, we were spread so thin. That's what drove me uh, almost to insanity. But mm -hmm. that that is really what took it out of me. But now I get I feel like I get to do so many more things, but not have the worry about it needing to be perfect in my head. Because, I mean, you've taken it. You've crushed it. You've impressed me with every single every single element of of this from oh. the the conception you know i remember in the earliest discussions you were having conversations with us and you're pitching ideas and i was like take it like you you've got it you've got mm -hmm. it under control i don't have to worry about this and that's the best feeling is you know especially because for the longest time i saw smosh as like my little baby that i needed to to watch over every single moment but now it feels so nice to know that you cuz you both mm -hmm. you both been part of smosh for Eight, eight, eight years. years. Oh, eight years. Yeah. You fully long understand. Time. It you is a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it flew by. I mean, it's. It well, we've talked about it before, but it, it flew by because it's been like m different jobs over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, there was Defy era Smosh, there's Mythical era Smosh, there's now, and it felt like diff working at different places. You've almost been here for half of Smosh, at least the YouTube <gasps> yeah. channel. Almost half of the YouTube Whoa. channel's existence. It's Literally. crazy. That's wild. It's yeah. really wild. It's like your kids are all grown up, and they're right. taking over, and they're taking, you know. Taking ownership of the little. They're taking ownership. But it's so the cool. The little baby. Uh, it's, yeah, the little baby. I am just a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. so cool, though, to have been here for so long and be doing something bigger than we've ever done before though. Yeah. It really does feel bigger because yeah. back at Defy, we had moments where we had more of a budget because Defy was just throwing tons of money at us, but this feels bigger because it really feels like it's ours. Like yeah. truly, it's like, wow, everything we're doing right now is completely smosh mm -hmm. and that's so cool. And uh, and yeah, we've been working up to this one for months now. And uh, yeah, we I know we talked early on of like I was like okay, chosen because mm -hmm. I haven't done chosen in a in a roast yet. I've thought about it before, but I'm like it doesn't really make didn't make sense for who we were roasting. Right. Uh, but this one it, it clicked right away, and I think I threw out the whole idea and concept of it for mm -hmm. this. 
Um, yeah, because Chosen has a makeover. Yeah, no, Chosen yeah. is uh, Chosen, has a Chosen, is, Chosen is also scantily clad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he still lives Lots at home. Of he still lives at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, uh, uh, yeah, and I, 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 no kidding. I've been talking about it. I'm like, oh, I need to start training for this. Like, I've been working out extra hard for this because oh, I'm shit. like, I want to make yes. Chosen look the because like. The the buffer I get, the funnier Chosen <laughs> looks to me. Because I think it's really funny that Chosen, like, his personality and everything so, is is so, so dumb. Timid, right? But I'm like, like if I it, the more like he's it, just so ripped, and his mom's like, <laughs> his mom's like, are you gonna leave the house without a it's shirt like, it's on? It's like it's like he's surviving off hot pockets. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, the amount of time he spends working out, he could be looking for a job. Yeah, yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly. I hear him at the gym just going up to somebody, and be like, excuse me, mind if I get a couple sets in? <laughs> How long are you gonna be on the lat raise? <laughs> <laughs> oh. right, is there gonna be a big difference between the the way your body looks in the promo versus the final. I hope so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just ripped. I would hope so, but we'll see. Chiseled. It's it's tough, man. You know, bravo to people who friggin' like those people who for, get buff it's, for it's, movies. It's what they yeah. do. It's they tough. only yeah. do that yeah. though. That's yeah. the other yeah. thing is like they have. I, a whole I'm doing team. it. I'm doing it a normal amount. Yeah. I'm not going insane. The difference, Shane, is that they're not appearing in 40 Smosh videos a month. Uh, yeah. That's, yeah. That's true. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. It is tough. No, we have our shoot weeks. Where we have like 8 a.m. call times, uh -huh. and I'm like, I am waking up at 5:30, and I'm going to the straight gym. up Are you doing that. Yeah, do that? he is. Yeah, I, I've been I've been attempting to try to do that too. I did that today at 6 a.m. and I was like. Shane's gonna be proud of me. <laughs> you saying he used to do that? You used to wake up at five a.m. I remember you'd talk about it like back at back at Defy. You you like or you would wake up and work out at the Smosh House. I feel like at five a.m. or something. I would. Uh, no, Anthony. One time you walked in on. Uh, you walked oh, into. Oh, oh, oh. Remember? Remember? <laughs> okay. You walked in on you. You okay. walked into the garage. At the Smosh House, yeah, and I was I was working out in the garage. And I remember you laughing. What were you working? Were you just working <laughs> was, out with body like, weight? I, I yeah, I was probably like. I love that you were I, laughing. Was I laughing? <laughs> you were just like you're like oh my god, <laughs> like oh Shane's working <laughs> out in there, like whatever. <laughs> I was, uh, I was loser just, getting fit. Yeah, I was just doing body weight stuff, probably like push ups or jump, like jumping rope or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I remember, I distinctly remember that. That's impressive as yeah. well. And That's the so worst part is, I don't remember it at all. Ah, it's oh okay, my God. man. It's wow, okay. Like, you were overworked. You yeah, because I feel like you yeah. remember, mo like you have a very good memory. You do have normally. a great memory. I'll blame it on that time in my life where I was dissociating for 90% of the time. Oh, <laughs> Your memory usually oh, is pretty yeah, insane. You'll be like, yeah, the food battle 12 time code. Oh, my God. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Seconds in, that this was happens. I was editing all those, and, it, oh, and they were really like sense. ingrained into here. Plus, sense. I have to rewatch all the food battles before we do the next food battle. Yeah. Well, now you get to just die, and you just <laughs> you just die. And, yeah. and yeah. as someone who's been dead before during a funeral, you just chill. But let it me tell you, it's an overwhelming experience mm. to be yeah. in the casket. Yeah, it's like. You feel like like a love burst, like a love bomb. I know you're getting roasted, yeah. and you're gonna it's get just a roasted. Lot of attention, it's yeah. so much attention. I was freaking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I felt mm -hmm. love bombed hard. I was like, uh, everyone who's done it, it has talked about um, feeling like it's feeling really good afterwards. They're it's like, really wow, good, it actually, feel, it's, it's intense. It, it somehow feels great. It's so interesting because roasting inherently, especially the ones that you see like on TV, it seems like it, it is kind of rooted in negativity or yeah. kind of jabbing in a way where it's like you kind of suck dude oh and, yeah those are well, I, I don't like watching that's, those that's, yeah they're cringy whereas like i don't know courtney directs it in a way where it's like it's love bombing with some like a little bit of cutting roast but it's right. it's mainly love bombing and that's really a testament to Courtney's directing because that, that mm -hmm. goes back to the root of, and Ian and I have been uh, talking a lot with different people about what Smosh is and what, what it's not. And mm -hmm. the biggest thing that we go back to is that it is comedy rooted in friendship. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. And it's so easy to kind of get pushed in the direction of comedy rooted in I don't know, something else, just like you, jabbing, like yeah, you yeah. kind of suck, kind of taking out your aggression or frustration. Yeah. But yeah, you've done such a good job in, in keeping the roast something that even though it is roasting, it feels like it comes from a place of like, I see you or like, I recognize mm -hmm. you. Yes. Or, I notice the little things that you do. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I think people have different views on on roasting. And to me, like the best roast is one that is still rooted in respect. Yeah. Right. And it's and the the 
a roast is perfect, I think, when it's as specific as it can be. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't think roasts, like, you know, roasts often, like, there's, there's like the lowest common denominator ones, like, you know, making fun of someone's appearance or, mm-hmm. or, yeah. or body or something like that. And I'm like, that's, that's surface level. You want to yeah. really roast someone on like something that is so unique to them. Like when you yeah. call Drew Shrek. <laughs> okay. When you, call Drew, when you call Drew a follow Shrek, and we were all like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that okay. was a low hanging fruit. That was pretty deep. Uh, the, Honestly, was actually, no, I meant, he didn't I meant personality. Do it. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, but I felt, she rose I felt, so oh hard. Oh my God, she annihilated. If anyone us. rose, she rose so hard that yeah. you're like, she was good. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I remember. Yeah. So going back to the beginning of it, uh, Courtney, where did you come up with this idea to start it in the first place? It is a little bit of a funny story because there are like, I think, four people who all claim that the funeral show was their idea. Um, I think we all kind of had similar ideas maybe around the same time, but I remember seeing RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars where they did a Lady Bunny funeral roast. And it was this, uh, where literally someone's in a propped up casket, Lady Bunny is, and and they roast and perform eulogies. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. They only did this once. They've never done it again. I kept telling Ryan Finnerty over and over, like, this is, there's something here. Like we should do something similar to this. And then, pitch meetings would happen and like a writer would pitch like oh we need like a roast show or oh we need a funeral show and then and then every time someone brought it up be like oh how about this because like the vision was like already in there Mm -hmm. um and then we yeah we eventually did it and I was like I'm not gonna like like we need to do Shane first because that's like the biggest the biggest deal I feel like um but technically you thought of it first (laughs) <laughs> Anthony I technically thought of the funeral roast first before RuPaul's Drag Race. Wait, even. what? Yeah. Do I, tell. Uh, so back in 2018 or so, this is before my I Spent a Day with series picked up, mm-hmm. uh, I was at a very low point mm-hmm. and my channel was very much in the depths of uh, kind of as low as the views in my head could go. Yeah. So I wanted to A, have clickbait that would get keep people to watch it, but also I wanted to kind of be self-aware, I think because I was so insecure about how Aww. badly it was looking. Yeah, 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 of course. I was like, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna hold a funeral for my channel. I'm gonna say that my channel is dead <laughs> and I'm gonna declare that it's dead. And That's awesome. uh, so I, I think I, that was the point of it was like about my channel, but then it kind of evolved to be this thing where I invited people out to roast me uh, while I lay dead in the what? funeral. He's literally in a wake and what? it's like him in a casket just laying there and different YouTubers just walk in and it's like quick cuts of different YouTubers being like, sorry, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Awesome. That is legit. Like you birthed the idea of the funeral yeah. roast. Uh, it, it wasn't intentional and I didn't even realize the link when Smosh started doing it. But uh, yeah, so I have been in a casket before, but <laughs> a long time ago for a very different reason. Yeah, that's yeah. so crazy. Oh my God. And it's so cool that you persisted and you were at such a low point that you literally held a funeral for yourself, but then your channel has obviously exploded. Yeah. It was strange because actually that video got a lot of new people watching it because I made the <laughs> thumbnail like like my birth year to to the present day yeah. and like made it look like I was mm. actually dead a little bit. <laughs> and clickbait was kind of working around the time. I think that people have, or YouTube has kind of crushed clickbait with the way the mm. algorithm's built now, but uh-huh. at the time yeah. clickbait was kind of working and it got new people watching and it actually was, it kind of reinvigorated <gasps> my channel. You had a rebirth wow. moment. Right. I had a rebirth And now you're having a rebirth moment. Yeah. You're, Re- and you're dying again. Mm-hmm. And I will say, you know, the the, the Smosh channel was, we were struggling to find content that was working. And this funeral, like you had the idea for it. And and yeah, you picked for me to be in the first one. And I So I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. So I think that was kind of nice because I didn't have this anxiety because I there was nothing to see. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have a counter roast yet at that point. So, so you didn't even have to Oh, you just had to take it. So, uh, but, yeah. but I also yeah. didn't know mm-hmm. that it was gonna, like I didn't know what level of roast or anything. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit in this casket and people are gonna <laughs> say things, mm-hmm. all right. Um, and it was, I, I will say, like, I think I definitely got away 
kind of scot free compared to everyone else. Oh, because it was much nicer. They got more. And, and every row, every funeral we have done since gets more and more brutal. Um, think... Mine was mine was like you know Kimmy just dumped a Lacroix on me. <laughs> uh, Damien did some screams. Oh, uh, Garrett yeah. sang a song. Um, there were definitely roasts. Was but I even in that one? I don't think you it were. Was a small one. It was like a, a really. But small. I remember Kimmy spilling shit on you. Yeah, spilled a Lacroix huh. on me. And at the end, I just go, ah, I, I love you guys, and that was my counter roast. Wow. But I will say, I, I I have not gotten out unscathed because I've been in so many funerals, and oh. I I get roasted you get in every roasted single every one. time. Yeah, just no one strays, is no what? one is safe. Like, like <laughs> even Anthony, even in in yours, when you're gonna get roasted, I guarantee you, everyone else will get roasted. Uh, everyone's yeah. gonna get roasted. Nobody can walk away without having some mm-hmm. joke thrown their way. And I have had some unbelievable roasts uh, yeah. said mm-hmm. to me. Me too. Um, but yeah, mine was, but it was really fun. And then it did really well. And yeah. every single one has has performed so well. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved the funerals because I I love obviously doing characters and I actually do not like roasting people. Mm. It, it makes me so deeply uncomfortable. Courtney knows this because <laughs> every writing meeting, I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want to say that. I don't, yeah. I don't even want to know that detail because I, I don't want to, I don't want to carry that. I don't want to say it. I don't want to roast it. So I love being so deep in a character that I'm essentially roasting myself mm-hmm. yeah. because I'm roasting this character. But I will say, when I did Damien's, oh, that, that was, was so fun because. I was like, I'm gonna fucking roast the shit out of him. <laughs> because I really chose a character that was such a roast for him. And you and Patrick and Jeremy helped me cultivate roast that I knew Damien would be like, I see you. Yeah. Right? It was because I just I get so cringy roasting people in like such a negative sense. Well, and you want to make a roast that they're going to laugh that at. They're going and that's to such laugh a hard at. thing. Yeah. True, to... Because the goal is kind of to make the person laugh, not yes. to like get a dig in exactly. on them. Exactly. And so if you're a character, you you kind of slip away from you giving it to them. You're like doing it from a character's right. point of view, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, no, we've we've it's it's been crazy. It's been such a journey. And um, we have learned a lot, like since the first episode, yeah. we figured mm-hmm. out so many things like obviously, OK, the person in the casket should totally give a counter roast. And yeah, because originally on yours, Kimmy originally wasn't going to do anything, but we wanted her in the audience because we just like wanted an, a filled audience for yeah, this funeral. Yeah, yeah. And then Finnerty was like, it looks weird that she's there not doing anything like let's, mm. let's like let's have her do something. And she was like, OK, like, should I pour one out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, All right. Sick. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, be like, OK, this is coming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, yeah. uh, great, here we go. Yeah, and just the more, like, because from the beginning, I never wanted to roast. I was just going to, like, kick it off if because Finnerty was like, well, you need to be in it or something. And I was like, I I was scared to roast, didn't know how to write roasts, and and it's eventually gotten to the point where, like, I, I feel like I get it now, yeah. and especially working with Patrick and Jeremy and also watching our guests come in and roasting. Like, it's you learn so much about, like, mm-hmm. framing certain jokes up, and, like, we've had so much fun with... With like creating a character that has a a true and true like lane like like Tommy's reading the will yep. and and Arasha's coroner character mm-hmm. like where it's just like there's such a it's such a fun playground we were talking about this earlier today like when you have a theme and a and a box that you kind of put yourself in for those kind of makes it easier to write it's those more jokes. specific you can write the jokes from the character's POV yeah. and mm-hmm. it's just so much fun and it's less scary too how does the how do the roasts compare? Because you've been in on most of the writing meetings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How, how do you think this time compares? Because Shane, you were saying that every time it seems like it's kind of amped up a little. I will say this one's the because what <laughs> yeah. I will also say is you know every time we were doing a funeral, this is I think what we always wanted for these funerals. Mm-hmm. We always felt like man, I wish we could make these bigger. It yeah. was so tough because we we're squeezing them in with our regular schedule. But I think they were always meant to be a big event like this. So now that we're finally, it's on the mm-hmm. big, big platform we want it to be. I think as I'm writing this, it's it it's gonna be brutal. But I think it's also a, a matter <laughs> oh of God. I think it's also a matter of like performance wise. I'm like I got a friggin' you gotta bring it. I got I am I'm on. I'm at the Amundsen Theater yeah. this time. Yeah, right? you know, I, like, like we used uh, to bring up scripts and because, and I think my performances also got crazier every time too yeah, with true. every funeral. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I would say, like, 
one thing that we've learned over the episodes is like sometimes we forget to like say nice things too. <laughs> uh, like, yeah. And then it looks like some of the rest of people are like, damn, you guys were mean. But it's like we we all in the room know that it's coming from like a place of <laughs> immense love. Yeah. But it's like we're being mean for like 30 minutes straight. <laughs> well, and it's also the pressure of every episode of like, okay, I gotta I gotta make these awesome roasts. It's mm -hmm. like it's it's not I'm not roasting this person always out of uh, I want to say this to them. It's more like, well, I, I have to think of funny things to say mm -hmm. about them. And oh, see, that's why I just, like, I'm getting cringed right now. Like, I just, <laughs> I can't handle, yeah, I just made up that word. Getting uh, cringed. I just can't <laughs> handle, uh, yeah, I, I feel like all, I feel like that's why I tried to escape all of that. Like, I was like, what if my character is like a super fan, but the character is wild? Yeah. Like, the yeah. character is roastable, but they're a super fan of the person who's dead. You've done a great so job. I'm yeah. not actually, like, being super mean. No, I can't. I, I think what? you've done a great job of, of navigating it. Um, do you... Ugh. Uh, uh, Anthony, have you avoided watching the funerals, uh, or, or, or have you have you watched, yeah, have any, you of watched any of the episodes? Have you watched funerals? I've watched some clips. I I watched through Ian's because I was most curious about what yeah. you would say. I watched through some of Rhett and Link's and uh, the Try Guys and the best a little bit of yours and okay. also Damien's. Damien's is um, great. And. I mean, I'm glad I haven't, I didn't dive too deep into yeah. them. I mostly just saw like the highlights and clips. I think that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. better. I think that's good. For for the rest of us, do you guys have a favorite performance that you've done or a favorite character? And, and Courtney, you haven't been in a lot of them because you were directing them. Do you have any favorite characters or roasts oh. that you've seen? Oh, um, boy. I will say for myself, I can start. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty proud of a lot of them, but I will say uh, two that stand out. Uh, Damien's was something that I had thought about for months, mm -hmm. and I, I mm -hmm. was like, oh, yeah. I the character was. Just I got to so do. I did, this, I, I did this JoJo's yeah. bizarre adventure character, and I was like, I need to go all out. I had it fully memorized, yes. and I was nervous because you know I was just like, all right, like I'm I'm gonna roast my one of my really good friends, and uh -huh. I'm gonna go for it. Um, and I was really proud of that. But honestly, another one that I'm really proud of is is the one I did for Amanda's. Uh, I did my oh. Benoit Blanc. Oh, that was I, incredible. I did it as a full murder it's mystery. It's a little tiny clip of that one. Full murder so mystery good. thing. And I I went nuts with it. It was, and it was so a blast. Good. Uh, it's it was a lot of fun. That one was the best, I think, delivery of a roast that I had I had I seen. loved like that delivery. I loved my funeral. I had so much fun at my funeral. Like I said, I was <laughs> not many people can say that. I was oh. so yeah, I had a great time at my funeral. <laughs> I liked my counter act on you. You guys. did impressions of everyone. I did impressions of everyone. Amazing. That was my favorite. But like your knives out guy, I was like, damn. Yeah. Also because I love murder mystery. And oh, yeah. mm -hmm. so really it was almost sweet. a gift to you. It was <laughs> it was a fucking gift. That's how I felt. I was like, yeah. I feel so overwhelmed. It felt like, you know, like a wedding day. You got out of the mm -hmm. casket and you were like, hey, guys, um, mm -hmm. it was so fucking awesome. And it's yeah. also a really fun way for any audience member who doesn't fully know this person get to learn a yes. lot about everybody. That's and true. Yeah, it's it's really fun. And like, I'm glad you had so much fun because like I know some people it's like it is like just like really scary. I remember Garrett when we did his, he like. <laughs> needed a minute after because he he wasn't used to being perceived oh. so hard was on camera for so long because we do eat it or eat it but it's like about the food and like <laughs> we're like Gary it like was for an overwhelmed hour. it is overwhelming it is overwhelming and like that's one of those ones where it's like damn <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> yeah. And I will say, like, one of the things I always tell the person who's in the casket or coffin or whatever you want to call it, uh, don't hold back because you're going to hear everyone's roast and then wish, like, dang, I wish I went harder. Uh, so it's always good to, like, go, like, go, go hard all, all out. Oh, yeah. Go hard on your counter roast mm -hmm. because, yeah. yeah, it's just... I, I'm, People I'm go hard, <laughs> and especially I'm so curious what Ian's gonna say because I will say, yeah. So <laughs> me too. some other, some oh, other, boy. some other standouts for me of characters I've witnessed um, was Sarah Christ was her first appearance in was a mine. Yeah. That was my that funeral. Was wet, cop, wet cop was birthed Dude. for Courtney's funeral, and I remember I had that fucking memorized, and then Patrick wet my bangs and I came out and I was dripping wet and I was so deep in that fucking character. <laughs> I was like, when it was over, I was like, 
I don't know who the f yeah. I was so deep in that character, and no, I remember Patrick know. was like, okay. So I guess I'm a method actor? Wet or? Pop is alive. Smosh Mouth fans know just how into that character yeah, you Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. Uh, and another, frankly, my favorite Ian performance ever, and my favorite Ian character is his redacted. I was going to say redacted. Oh. Dude, that is, it was unbelievable, and he, uh, my favorite roast I've ever received is from him as that character, which was uh, uh, Shane. Oh. Or, or, yeah, no, they the the moon landing was fake because they filmed it on Shane's forehead. Yeah, and, and, I, and I was like, damn, okay, because you know by that point I'd gotten a lot of short jokes, and I, I was like, I was like, okay, and I'm expecting that every yeah. single roast. I was like, they're gonna say I'm short, okay, and then a forehead joke comes out. Of it. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Like, like I was new like, insecurity just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> no, I respected it. I, whenever, whenever people roast me for anything that's just not me being short, I'm like, okay, that was creative. Yeah, yeah. That's impressive. You found something. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. bravo. It's like when people roast Angela not about her loud voice. She's like, thank you, God. Yeah. <laughs> He's just done. Hey, Shane, have you gotten your mom a Christmas gift yet? I uh, I haven't bought it yet, but I am planning on it, and I know what I'm getting her, and I'm not kidding. Not just because of this segment. I am getting her an aura frame. <gasps> uh, my mom loves photos. She loves family photos. Um, but being completely honest, my mom is not great at technology. She would admit that herself. So I wanted to get her something that was also simple and easy to use, which an aura frame is. Uh, and I got one right here. Uh, and oh, look what oh, we got right on there. There I am. Got a photo of you uh, from forever ago. Uh, you can have so many photos on this thing. It's easy. You just swipe right on through. <gasps> Boom. Oh, there's oh, Selena. Selena's right there. Let's go back and let's see what's. Oh, there, oh. That's amazing. Look at all these people. Oh, it's so great. So many silly photos. Um, it's really, really awesome. So easy to use. And it is so lovely. They've got different colors of frames and everything. And it also has unlimited storage that anyone from anywhere can send photos right to that Aura frame and all they need is the Aura app. Yeah, which is right? free and, and great. It's free? Also, Oprah added this to her favorite things list three times. Three times, that's how you know it's good. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's freaking insane. Visit AuraFrames.com slash Smosh today to get $30 off their best-selling frames. These frames sell quickly though, so get yours before it's gone. That's A-U-R-A frames.com slash Smosh. Use promo code SMOSH to get $30 off their best-selling frames. Terms and conditions apply. Whoa, it has been a very busy holiday season, and I'm going to be honest, I have had no time to cook food, Shane. You know, Amanda, that's the case for a lot of people. Uh, they do not have time to cook. They don't have time to meal prep. They don't have time to go grocery shopping. But Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, is here to help you with that. They make... Uh, chef prepared, dietitian approved meals that are ready to go in just two minutes. Two minutes in the microwave, and they are delicious. Oh, uh, yeah. I've been a big fan for a long time. Um, and what's great is they have tons of options that suit whatever kind of, kind of diet you're on. They've got Calorie Smart, they've got Protein Plus, they've got vegan and vegetarian options, they've got breakfast meals, they've got lunch, they've got dinner, they've got everything. And it is so good and so convenient. It's so good. They sent me a box and they had like cold pressed juices, smoothies that were so good mm -hmm. and like ready to go meals that I just put in the microwave. It was perfect, saved me so much time. Yeah, it, it's it's really awesome. They have a lot of options um, and I highly recommend it. And they are super healthy. If you're interested in Factor, head to factormeals.com slash smoshmouth50 and use code smoshmouth50 to get 50% off. Once again, that's code SMOSHMOUTH50 at factormeals.com slash SMOSHMOUTH50 to get 50% off. All right. Back to the show. Back to the show. I'm so excited about these characters. I will say, did you have a plan for these characters? Did you kind of choose these characters? I know Chosen is specific to Shane, mm -hmm. but Fortune Teller, you pitched to She's me. New. She's new. Yeah, I, I was leaning into this aesthetic because Anthony is super into like the spooky like gothic <laughs> yes. classic gothic almost Victorian vibes kind of that's the, that's at least the energy I get and I like 
and originally when we were planning it closer to Halloween time, it was like, okay, <laughs> what can we do? And like, you have this really cool Amanda lore of tarot card reading mm -hmm. and stuff. And it was just like, ooh, that would be so fun to like do something with that and roast with that. Cause like, I knew I wanted you to do a character. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, that was kind of how that filled out. Oh, um, and then we, we wanted to bring back, so Angela's doing The Vessel, which originally in, I think it was Lisa's funeral, okay. where yeah. the chat gets to submit roasts via QR code in the stream, and she's going to be possessed by chat and reading these roasts about Anthony and about Smosh. <laughs> oh my God. Now, I'm jealous of that one, because you get to say all these roasts, but you don't have to you feel don't guilty. Have to feel guilty. Yeah. You're like, okay, no. great, what she other has, people are saying. She has one of the easiest jobs, quote unquote, but like, she's gonna put so much into that performance oh as like a possessed, God. like exorcist girl. And then Chance was like, we wanted to do a musical halftime show. And so he he he's not actually roasting you. He doesn't have a roast, oh. but he's he's part of the halftime show. And so we were like, well, we have to give him like a thing for the promo. Uh, and so we were, I was like the altar boy. And Chance was like, yes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where did good, the altar boy go from? Chance impression. He's, he's birthed in his mind, I guess. <laughs> his conversations with Ali and, and like some of the team of just like, oh, what are some fun other like yeah. vibey, like Catholic church yes. or like gothic, cause, like, church vibes, mm -hmm. funeral vibes, and altar boy was one, well, when choir. You first, when you first came to me to, or you spoke with Ian and I about some of the ideas that you had, and I remember you describing the characters, and you're like, the chosen, and then you're like describing the other characters. Mm -hmm. I was like, what if each person was a the blank? Yeah. The, yeah. Like something very oh. hyper specific mm -hmm. about wow. them. So that way you could build out their entire character based off one line. Yeah. I love that, love that. And I, th I think, you know, just seeing all the characters together, you were able to hone in on each of their traits and qualities and what they were good at, mm -hmm. the types of roasts that they would give so perfectly because mm -hmm. of that. Oh, yeah. thank it's you. very yeah. specific. The bikini girl, yeah, yeah. the priest, yeah, and the also pastor, yeah. it feels very like almost old school horror movie, like yeah. Victorian oh, vibes. Absolutely. You know, where, yeah. you know like goal, you can so see you. the whole promo. Like it's just like the priest. I feel like it's so easy I to understand it. because of it. And in mm -hmm. going in, you kind of have an expectation, but you're like, I have no idea where it can go, but I have some ideas. And I think that's what makes it so fun is you're like, there's all these fill in the blanks, but you have just such a, just a little taste of what totally. might Totally. And you are going to be surprised. <laughs> and like, this is our first time going into a funeral <laughs> where the audience is in on who's all in it. Not everyone. There right. are several surprises coming in the actual show, but like, this is the first time where it's like, here's your lineup, like to right. build up, to build up the hype. And yeah, I, you, we just have such an awesome cast that we've never done a trailer for funeral. That's no, true. this is our first oh. time we've ever done like a pro Promo. This is like a big event, mm -hmm. right? And and what's so fun about creating a trailer and hyping something up so much is when you can live up to the hype. Mm -hmm. And I was really nervous with like the food battle release. There was like a, there's multiple weeks and merchandise and a trailer and mm -hmm. all this, and then people unanimously felt like it lived up to the hype, and that excites me. And I know yes. based off what you're creating and what I do know about what's been put into this live show, it will 100% live up to the hype. I think it's gonna ex exceed ah, the hype. Thank you. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. Easily too, like even what, what you've done so far and you still have a couple more weeks of planning to get yeah. Get ready for it. Yeah, we're we're locking those roasts down. Uh, and yeah, and congratulations with Food Battle. That's oh, like a huge deal. Yes. So cool that it lived up to the hype that it did. Um, yeah, I'm really excited and I really like, I was inspired to do this promo because like I always wanted to do one of those, mm -hmm. especially when we did our, our first couple like live show trailers of like Under the Influence and then uh, was it the sleepover one? And then the under the mistletoe one was like an interesting one. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I have always been so just amazed. And like our, our Smosh Summer Games Wild West, mm. which Shane, Shane was there for that too, where it's just like, wow, yeah. it's just something that is cool mm -hmm. and it's different from our actual content, but it's us. Mm -hmm. And, and I also like ever since I started Smosh and even before when I was like a fan, 
you guys made such incredible, visually amazing things. And I, I was like, I, I want to do that. Like I always wanted to do something like this. And so it was scary planning this promo and mm -hmm. getting into this funeral because it's like, oh, I've always wanted to do this. And I always felt like this was within me, but it's like, okay, all of these people are suddenly trusting me with all of this. <laughs> right. So it's time to see if I have been delusional this whole time <laughs> or I'm actually capable of this and like, it's just so awesome to have our team, our crew, because we just, I had this vision. I freaking used Canva and I still am constantly <laughs> for this project. Yes. But like building out the vision and our crew was just so into it. And everybody literally put their blood, sweat, tears, heart, and soul and <laughs> into this. <laughs> and like, Make sure they're put yeah, it's so I, I feel very it's the coolest thing I've ever done. So shooting the promo was like really something you're so proud of. Like Yeah, and it was like just the beginning of all of this. Like mm -hmm. it's still it's still going for me because this live show is gonna be it's like it's a different flavor of what I did, but mm -hmm. it's like it's all still happening and it's like it's so crazy to hear you being like, Yeah, we just we trust you and stuff because like it is new for me to like yeah. be able to have this much creative control and just like you guys really letting me just go. And I'm learning a lot about myself and like believing in myself and I'm just really excited and grateful. Yeah, I, I will say I've seen, you know, at the, in the the first discussions, you were like, uh, can we do this? Can we do this? Should we do this? And you were a little like, not sure. Mm -hmm. But Ian and I have been pushing you to be like, hey, just take it. You got it. This is mm -hmm. great. Trust yourself. How, if you don't mind me taking over. For no, yeah, please. <laughs> please, man. Please. <laughs> how, how has that been like coming into trusting yourself more with this? And, and from everything that I've seen, you should 100% trust yourself because you've proven yourself a, a million times over with what you're capable of how has that Aww. been kind of finding that that confidence thank you it's it's really scary it's really like because like I said I was like okay like at first when we were getting the early stages I was very much alone in like a lot of the planning and and it was like it actually was a really interesting experience because the more I was like, okay, I'm actually allowed to have this vision. Cause like, I think in the past I would have an idea and it would kind of get uh, steered a different direction or kind of taken for something else. Like not like taken from me, but like, okay, we're gonna do something mm -hmm. different with mm -hmm. that. And it was like, oh, so this is like my vision. And like, I do feel like I've grown a lot since I first started directing where I used to like look at our previous directors and be like, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you see that in your head. And like this, this funeral and like the the promo specifically and with a lot of this like I would just literally have like a that's so raven like, <laughs> and, like have visions of like a shot and like colors and and like exactly how I want something to go and just be like oh shit and like need to write it down and and feeling like I didn't I felt unstoppable mm -hmm. I will say it just yes. I felt it seemed like that too like when you were force. directing there on even for the promo it, it almost seems like you were you always had that part of you but you shut it down because you were not confident in showing it. It's so weird. Like, mm -hmm. I remember the first time I directed on every TikTok ever. Uh, <laughs> you, you hate <laughs> no, that no, She's doing no, the TikTok girl really well, I mean. <laughs> no, it did really well. No, because it's so silly. It's like so silly. And we used to do those little voiceovers in the yeah, like, yeah. every TikTok ever. <laughs> uh, but like, I don't know what it was where it's like, okay, my name is on the slate. I'm the director. So if you don't do what I say, like, I'm telling mom, like, <laughs> I'm, you're in trouble. So like, but it was just like, I, I know what I'm doing. And I guess I've kind of always had like a little bit like of a, like a, a confidence. And especially when I like see what I want. And it's obviously like great when you go into a project and you're like, I know what I want. Cause then it makes it so much easier to, to achieve it. But yeah. And it's just, I, I don't know. I feel like I've, become more connected than ever with our team and with our crew yeah. that like it's just it feels so cool I feel so supported like by everybody and maybe it's like maybe my imposter sy syndrome was like really bad for a while and yeah. like I, I genuinely thought people wanted the minimum a minimum amount of time in conversations with me like I think there's a, so not true. I th it's not true <laughs> and I also feel like there's a new wave of trust in this crew like mm -hmm. I feel like there's a newer connection between you and I. I feel like there's a lot of female energy that's coming in and mm -hmm. coming in and kind of like massaging what was ever needed to be healed in making decisions and being a director and also being a female director. Mm -hmm. And I feel like in the YouTube world, that's really hard. And we naturally question ourselves because it's, I don't know why it's more of a production when 
we take we take over and it's like oh they're taking over but it's like <laughs> i think that that's just like an image that's not real mm -hmm. and it's definitely not real here mm -mm. and i think when you took over it was like okay it was just another day mm -hmm. like yeah. it was like yeah here we go and i felt like vidcon we got really close mm -hmm. you coming back we all got really close mm -hmm. and i felt like when you started direct we were like yep I mean, we are a hard group to wrangle. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm really sorry about we that. We definitely are. We do bits constantly, <laughs> and we're a nightmare. But you're really good at being like, I love you. Stop. Because <laughs> we need to go. No, and and then I remember we're like, the, the promo was so funny because you were directing, but you were also Bikini Girl. <laughs> so you were directing it as Bikini Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I had a sweatsuit. I did have like a sweatsuit that I would put yeah, on. You did. But when it was like getting closer, like I had like, they put on like sh body shimmer that was like liquid. Oh, so, like, yeah. so there are points where I'm just like checking the footage and I'm like in <laughs> I feel like, listening. I feel like I was like, listen more. It was like, it was like, I love you, but stop. I was like, oh, I love you too. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. And Chance was a little like, Priest, little we boy, all look and he was like, insane. We look yeah. insane. Yeah. I'm chosen, but I have like scars and blood all <laughs> over so me. Cool. Uh, it was fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I think um, we also before Anthony, before you came back, before Smosh kind of owned itself. Uh, I think we operated from a place of fear a lot, mm -hmm. and I think whenever, uh, whenever I, I know when I would direct things, I was trying to make it right. I was like, oh, I want to make it however they want it to be made. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking about my vision. I wasn't thinking about, oh, what could this be? I was just like, oh, I just need to make it correctly. And and that's the wrong place to come from because you're never going to make anything original. You're never going to make anything that, that you know, sets the bar higher. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you're really not going to end up making anything that's satisfying to you yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, um, and I think that's something I, I can relate to with this show. Um, you know, when we started this, we, we started formulating this before we knew you were coming back and uh, before you and Ian bought it, bought Smosh. And I think where I was operating from was very much like, okay, well, we used to have the Smosh cast and I need to just make it like that and, and we'll just try to make it uh, mm -hmm. Good More in views. that way, yeah, <laughs> and um, and no, and and every step of the way, you guys have been like, yeah, like take risks, do crazy stuff, experiment, mm -hmm. and we've been doing that more and more and it's, it's like newer newer energy like yeah it just like felt like newer energy just came in and like waved in and whooshed mm. over and was like, yeah, you can do it, yeah, yeah here think, we go. I think one of the biggest things I learned uh, in the six years that I was away from Smosh is that the. The only thing that allowed me to have something that I excelled at and that I was really good at, which was my interview series, is because I took so many risks. And at first, when I first left Smosh, I was like, okay, I, I was like rigidly put myself in this mm. box. Like, um, I have to do sketch comedy and I have to, this is what I'm known right. for. And, this is, and I was like, but then I have to do it better, but then just a little bit different, just enough to show that I'm unique. And that's, mm. you know, what you said, operating out of a place of fear. But once I gave all that up, I was like, oh, wait, actually, it's about taking a bunch of risks seeing what works, honing in on the one that excites me most yep. and that uh, the audience is latching on to most. And it's kind of finding that harmony between what the audience likes, what you like, yeah. take a bunch of risks, only risk doing something that you enjoy because if yeah. if if you're taking a risk doing something you don't enjoy, what's the point of yeah, it? Yeah, what is the point? So and I feel like viewers can feel that. Yeah, like, yeah. They, they definitely can. And, and also I feel like the people that you're working with, your cast can feel that. And I feel like if you are taking risks, if you're kind of – being like, I believe in this and I'm gonna go for it, your cast is like, oh yeah. And I feel like the funeral is such a good representation of that because it's like, I'm playing a fortune teller. He's playing Chosen and, and Angela's playing this like demon child. <laughs> We're all kind of taking little pieces of ourselves yep. yeah. and exploding it and then it's all deeply Love bombing <laughs> you. Yeah, keep saying. We promise. Yeah, keep saying. It's Love just bombing. that. But if you get anxious before, I get it. Oh, I get it. Yeah. But yeah, it's just like it feels very uh, like we're an ensemble, and it's really cool to do this huge, you know, promo and funeral, mm. and have you direct it, and it's just like awesome to be a part of yeah. yeah I also say I want to say like other things that have really helped me here and I feel like just the overall energy here is like over the past year or so like we've had new cast members come in that totally breathed new life into this job as a whole mm -hmm. for me like entirely uh they make me feel more confident in myself Chance and Angela and Arasha speaking specifically and like I 
I love that. And I remember when Shane and I started, uh, Joe Barretta would say that about us, about just like breathing new life into stuff. And like, and then when you came back, it was like, oh, they bought Smosh. Like it felt like, oh, we, everybody's believing in this. Like we're all confident in this. And like, when I tell you, I spent so much time thinking while you were away, I spent so much time thinking about how I, I was just, it just sucked so much that when you left, it was like, will he ever come back? Like, this is just always going to be an unresolved thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I thought about it so much. It's like, he, it's not just like that you and Anthony, that you and Ian started this thing together. It was like, you, you literally built that little website that started this whole thing. It was your baby, as we mentioned earlier. And like, you just had to like leave it and it never felt right. And the job never mm -hmm. felt right, fully right for me for a long time. And so like when I rightfully so broke down into like embarrassing oh. tears when you came back, it was, it was real for me. And like this job has like, there was times at this job where this, it was no longer what I wanted to do. Mm. And like it, it, it's all back. Like it's all back. Mm -hmm. I, I fully am so in it and like enjoying every minute of it. And we're making content that I'm excited about every day. And I feel seen and heard by everybody. And it's like, I, I do attribute a lot of that to you, Anthony. So like, thank you. Well, geez. Um, I don't know how to take compliments. What did I just say? Um, love bomb. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is just um, the beginning. I will say like this funeral, it's, it's a roast. Like we're going to freaking roast you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You need to after that. We're after going you to just freaking did. roast you. And it, it is it is a celebration of you as as all roasts are they are a roast but it is a celebration of the person in that casket mm -hmm. and that's that's the mission it's like we love this person let's oh, freaking go thank mm -hmm. you thank you yeah. I, I feel like it is it's it's not just me though it's a testament to both Ian and I coming together and reflecting on the beginnings of Smosh and what what made it so special and a huge part of that was Ian and I being able to just have fun together as friends try to make each other laugh be passionate about mm -hmm. creating little fun projects getting people excited about little dumb jokes and fun moments and mm -hmm. that's you know going into working with everyone here I, that's what I really wanted to push is for everyone to have the same kind of freedom to be passionate about creating funny little dumb things together or <laughs> just to be able to, to push themselves in any way that they see fit with with without the fear that a risk is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. a risk is always a good thing because you yep. always learn something from it. You either learn mm, maybe not the right choice or mm, well, let's double down on that and try, try refining that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And seeing all of you take something, make it your own, kind of have ownership of it, therefore you know be able to be fully passionate about it knowing that you're the stuff that you're putting into it the time and energy that you're putting into it is compounding it's not like oh i'm putting all this effort in this thing and then it gets taken away from me then mm -hmm. i'm putting all this effort in this thing it's taken away from me you know and that's kind of demoralizing where you feel like i'm putting all this energy into something that just like, at any moment can go away mm -hmm. i i've seen you kind of i think keep up that that the momentum of your passion because you know that you're just building and building and building yeah. on something with this show with you know reddit stories for you with the funeral as well like you know that the things that you learn from this will will uh, benefit you in you know all the risks that you're taking here you'll be able to learn from this and apply it to something going into to next year because we're going to be doing bigger and yeah. even oh, crazier yeah. events oh, yeah. going into it's, next year too mm. and it's going to be so fun to see how the things that you learned, all of us have learned from this year, yeah. and, and having that freedom to take risks can be applied to everything next year. Totally, so, yeah. yeah, I love that. And, and you know, Anthony, the last time you were on this show was was shortly after the announcement. And you know, things we knew, like, oh, we're gonna get a ton of views, and 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 the content we're gonna put out is gonna do really well because it's this big event. But we were like, okay, let's see how it keeps going. You know, and I think what's truly a testament to the energy that you and Ian have brought since you guys bought Smosh is that um, I feel like so much of what we're doing is, it's, it's succeeding in views, but I think it's succeeding in the creative and the fun we're having. And that's, that goes for videos that, that your videos that you and Ian aren't even in, you mm -hmm. know, like I look at some of the successes we've had, like on, on this show, we've mm -hmm. had some things that have gone viral just cause we're, we're trying things, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Five Nights at Freddy is <laughs> is, is real. based on a real story. Yeah, it is right? real. I literally yeah. was like, <laughs> um, I don't know about this true crime story. I, I I'm a fake. That's what I was thinking the whole time. But we're but we're having a blast. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
fucking with me. You're like, we're I'm doing, a fraud. <laughs> literally. <laughs> we're, we're doing crazy literally. shit on Smosh Games. We're, we're like, hey, let's try sniper chess. Yeah. And we do it, and it yeah, it's doing dude. great. Like, we are having so much success, and it's it's now past just this spike of like, whoa, Smosh is Ian and Anthony again. Now we're seeing, oh, it's actually... We're doing well, not just because of this big announcement. We just want to hang out with each other. But because we're having Literally, a blast and we're, we're letting we loose are. together. We yeah. just want to hang out with each other, take risks, um, bring each other up, kind of be like, oh, you're really good at that. Oh, you should do that. You should, like, even you pitching our characters for funeral it was like, oh, you're really good at that. And I was like, <laughs> I felt so f***ing seen. I was like, to have someone pitch a character that you're like, oh, my God. Yes. That is so a, I didn't think about it. And B, I was like, I didn't think, of, yes, that's me. Aww. It's like, it's to me, that is the biggest compliment. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what we've been doing. And we've just, we've just been loving hanging out with each other. Yeah. I mean, um, we're with each other all the time. And mm -hmm. it's just like, and getting to do this with Shane, I get to know Shane so much better. Mm -hmm. And I get to know Courtney so much better. And I get to know you so much better. And I can't wait to roast you. <laughs> yeah, dude. And I just, I just want you to be prepared that I'm prepared. it's going to be intense. Are you? <laughs> what's like Are the most, you? What's the most you? nervous thing? What's yeah, the most what's thing going through your mind? Thing? I'm curious, because it's um, days away. I mean, <laughs> Part of me is like, oh, they're gonna bring up something that I'm insecure about that I don't know anyone else notices. Oh! But, <laughs> but I, I'm I'm Maybe. totally fine with it. Honestly, anytime that I'm roasted about something, even if it's a little uncomfortable for a moment, I feel actually better about it because it's yeah. not something that's that that's like not spoken about. Kind of mm -hmm. like when when uh, Ian and I first came together on camera and we're like, I'm reading my angry letter to yeah. him and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Like it was uncomfortable for me to see the things that I wrote six years earlier. It was, I'm sure it was uncomfortable for him to hear some of that stuff, mm -hmm. but because it was out in the open, it made it feel like it wasn't a taboo subject that couldn't be spoken about anymore. And what's interesting is that Ian and my friendship started deteriorating because there was so much pressure from every angle to, to work so much that we didn't have any line of communication anymore. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if back then we had ways to even incorporate it into our work like it yes. is now, yeah. yep. then we would have had a closer friendship outside of work too. Ooh. Yeah. And it's interesting that this these there are now these outlets for everyone here to kind of get stuff just out there and said. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like anything's really too taboo to talk about within our group because we are right. you can give us a list of things we we don't touch oh we, we yeah and then you'll make sure you touch them although except with damien's i did touch like one <laughs> <laughs> well i will say with with every roast we do we are uh mindful mm -hmm. of things and we always ask and we're like hey is there anything that's off yeah. and a lot, a lot of times people are like no no, I mean, uh, yeah, but then sometimes later they'll be like, um, actually, because like me, Patrick, and Jeremy, whenever we, like, we'll do that initial kickoff meeting that we did with you, where it's like, okay, first things first, what are your boundaries? And yeah. just making yeah. sure we had all those. And then, like, sometimes, like, because we, are, Patrick and Jeremy, like, really go in, like, all three of us really help with the jokes. And, like, some of them, like, are hard hitting and, like, <laughs> crazy, but some of them is just like, this is just a joke that, like, fits for this person. Yeah. Like, yeah. sometimes, yeah. sometimes, like, when, a, when someone who's performing doesn't have something, we'll, like, be like, oh, just a throwaway. Like, I have never parked in a handicapped spot, but, like, we gave that joke to Lisa because she didn't have anything else. So it's like, I feel like mine were very like specific. My, my roasts were pretty specific. They're, but... They get specific. Yeah. No, but, like, you have material for days. That's, that's different. <laughs> I also, yeah, anyway, but uh, so like, I wouldn't let anybody go into this without <laughs> being set up for success. Correct, so. like they've, it's been filtered through. And that's a testament to your directing style is that yeah. it, it, you find that perfect balance. You walk that line perfectly of like, not too mean, but not too nice. Like it's mm -hmm. right, right there, you know? Exactly. Right there. Cause and if it's yeah. too nice, it just. That's more disrespectful to me. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It frankly is How more fucking rude of you. I agree. Because it's I, like, oh, you can't handle it. That's true. That's almost mm -hmm. it. Yeah. That I is totally, true. I totally, I totally agree with you. I mean, yeah. That is the meanest roast is when you go, Amanda and Shane. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's like devastating. not even giving them. Wow. Oh, it's, it's devastating. Wow. It's, it's devastating. Yeah. That's devastating the worst. Thing. I'm like, make fun of my Crusader, 18th century Crusader bangs, please. That, <laughs> that I was very. Do you know how many people go? Why weren't you Cat in the Hat for Halloween? Why weren't you Adam Sandler for Halloween? Why weren't you Berries and Cream for Halloween? <laughs> I will say, people have and pointed out away. on this show. They're like, 
damn, they have been going hard <laughs> on Amanda so often. And I fucking love it. No. Well, to be fair, with like I Mexican salsa, it. yes, you brought those videos. <laughs> And you were like, hey, we should talk about I'm going to bring some new ones. I just want to hint at I'm bringing some new ones for you. <gasps> really? That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, because you, you've been my working on your roast. I've been working on my counter roast. Counter roast. Yeah. I actually yeah. just forgot that you were doing a counter roast. <laughs> now I remember. Yeah, so and have he you gets been twice as much time. Have you been observing everyone? <gasps> oh, like, kind God. of Because you're roasting a bunch of people that you have only been working with these past few months. I've been paying very, very special attention <gasps> because I, I knew that a roast was coming up. I mean, there are lots of things incorporated into just the programming where you kind of have to pay attention to everyone mm -hmm. from who memed it, from like guessing, you know, there's a lot of games that we play where we're guessing who submitted something. You really have sure. to understand people working I saw here. that meme uh, of me holding a weird like pig and it's Angela. <laughs> <laughs> That one was nice for you. For, I, for that Angela. Meme, I was like, oh my God. That's Angela. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I've been paying very close attention to oh things that everyone God. does. I'm like, is there a recurring thing that this person does? Or is there a thing that's per like go to thing that this person mm. oh. likes to have around them? You know, whatever it is, that kind right. of thing. Right. Oh, boy. Cool. Yeah. It's fun. It's a fun exercise in uh, paying very close attention to everyone around you. Uh, yeah, I'm. Oh my god, I'm nervous, and I, I will say, I think I've gotten away. Like uh, my my initial funeral wasn't so bad, and I also think the roasts I've gotten, I'm like. I'm always like, people could go harder. There's gonna, I'm sure there will be a follow up one that we'll do. Yeah, at yeah. Point. I was gonna say, would you want to do another one? Uh, Round two, uh, so hard edition. Yeah. Oh. Brutal edition. Brutal edition. Brutally dead. Yeah. Um. Sure. Sure. If we ever want to do it. Are you sure? I yeah. think so. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I don't nervous. think so, Boo. I feel like I get roasted constantly. Anyway. You do. I feel like the fans roast me the most. No, they love it. They love taking. They love being part of it. They it's roast awesome. the people yeah. that can take it. They roast the people that can take. Exactly. They roast like. When you guys take pictures of me when I'm asleep and it looks like I'm dead with my head <laughs> in the ground, I love it. I fucking love it. You like, really look like, I didn't take the photo, but you look like a Family what? Guy character. I'm missing this? Spencer, I want to see Spencer, it. she was in the green, she was in like our couch, like out in the open, face down. <laughs> We could maybe put it up if we. Yeah. Have it, but just I like, look like a dead person, but it feels so face good. Down? It feels so good. No, I was face. I was like this, but it looks like my head's like this because my hair's like. <laughs> that. Your hair was covering your face, so you looked like you I was were. Not face it down. looked like how is she I breathing? Her face is in like planking in the I couch. Wasn't. My head was turned, but you know what? I just let him think. Uh, I just let him uh, think uh, that uh, I'm uh, another uh, demon. Don't ruin this. I, uh, yeah. mommy. Who are you most nervous about? Uh, and as far as roast, yeah. Like, is there a person you're most afraid of? Um, yeah, Ian. I think Ian? he's. I think he's gonna go hardest because he's known me for so long. He does go hard. I, I will say, I think you're worried about Ian, but the person every time, it's it's Arasha. Tommy. Tommy and Arasha uh, do go no. hard. Arasha, oh, Arasha? Arasha is devastating. Actually, you're right. Arasha you're is right. devastating. He comes out of nowhere, you're and you're right. like, oh my god. You're yeah. Right. I wrote cutthroat. a letter. How did you know about that information? She is cutthroat. <laughs> I do know that Tommy is not afraid to go hard, though. But Tommy's yeah. is. But his are so his are theatrical. His are like, yeah. they're like very well thought Tommy's out. Tommy's will catch you off guard, though. They're Tommy's won't be as necessarily mean as much as it'll be like, oh my god. Yeah. What? Like that was yeah. so well crafted. Yes. And it it he he's the one who's gonna roast you on something you weren't expecting to get mm -hmm. roasted on. Also, he mm -hmm. triple checks his jokes all the time. Oh. He'll be like, is this insane? And you'll yeah. be like, yes or no. Mm -hmm. And usually it's like, huh. Yeah, usually so. our writers, we usually help him the least because he's, <laughs> he's got it. Yeah. He's oh, good. Yeah. But he will go hard. You yeah. Know, I, yeah. I do think I am afraid of Ian's most only because mm. we have 20 plus years of history. That's true. Oof. You know? Yeah. So it's uh, like, uh, he, are you he worried about anywhere? Are you worried about him bringing back uh, something up from like middle school or something? I, I have preemptively decided to bring up some stuff from our earliest years. Oh. Because I think he will do the same for me. So I have decided that is where I'm going to go Ooh. with some of these. Oh. So. I'm. I'm anxious. I, yeah, that, just I don't know to why witness. that just got me like amped. I dug some stuff up. So oh, we are we are all going to learn new things. Oh yeah, yeah. <gasps> okay. Yeah. That's so exciting. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, so mm. Ian is the one that you're most nervous about. Yeah. And I guess Ian should be most nervous about you. <laughs> Honestly, damn. yeah. Ian, if you're watching this. Watch out. I hope your roasts are better You're than mine. Really I hope they go deeper. I hope you found something that I can't remember. <gasps> Likely not. Likely not. I got everything. Likely here. not. <laughs> Except, Except for the for times that. that I dissociated for, 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 <laughs> Except the for the past, time in the garage. For the last three years that I was at Defy. <laughs> Except for that. 
I think I, I think I am most nervous for you because I've been roasted. I've been roasted by everyone else. I don't know what it's like to get roasted by by you. Oh, I'm excited. Mm. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I, I'm nervous, but I'm excited because I'm excited to see what you say. I think I'm good for you. I'm gonna go a little bit harder on you now that now that. Now you that can go hard on me too. I'm go a little, oh, I'm already going harder. Okay, great. So I'm gonna go a little bit harder on you. Yours was one of the first Ooh, ones that I wrote. So really? I, so I decided just now I'm gonna go a little bit harder. <gasps> wow, what? you're what dead. Did I do? You're dead, Shane. Was it Ask because I said it. everywhere's Anthony joke? Yes, and because you said that the worst thing that could happen is someone is too nice to you. Ooh. So Ooh. you're I dead. No regrets. Nice. No Careful. holding back. Okay, so and, the and, show and, is Friday. It's Friday uh, at six. Six, 6 p.m. PST. And where can you get tickets? Smosh dot rip. Smosh dot R I P. <laughs> and and as you as we described earlier, Angela's whole thing is going to be reading chats best roasts. So mm -hmm. if you if you buy a ticket and you get in there, you have a possibility of roasting Anthony. Because those are ticketed. <gasps> Ticketed, yeah, ticketed guests it's only are in submitted. The stream. It's act on the actual uh, show, and you get to roast Anthony and Smosh if you like. It's a little, it's a little form that you yeah. get to fill out. It's it's gonna be crazy. so. Just buy up all the tickets. You have that opportunity. I think I will be buying <laughs> seven thousand <laughs> tickets, <laughs> and I'll be roast. submitting the roast from the audience, <laughs> and they might accidentally be all compliments. I also, I wouldn't be surprised if some of our crew did. Like oh, if yeah. they entered in the QR code, that oh, would be amazing yeah. if they did. Yeah. There's gonna be some crew in the chat. I'm, I'm seeing nodding heads behind camera. Ooh. There's so gonna be I, some crew in the chat. I see some evil glares. Oh my god! This is <laughs> I, I really can't stress enough. This is the this is the biggest thing we've ever. It really done. is. Honestly, oh. we've we've hyped up food battle so much, but this is the biggest of yeah, it. Yeah, it is. Oh, I don't know. Are you sure? Food yes. battle was pretty big. This is gonna be bigger. Don't this you is dare! Gonna be bigger. It's gonna be great. <laughs> um, it's the wedding. We have a little end segment we're trying. Yes. We're trying new end segments all oh. the time. Uh -huh. well, the one I want to uh, pitching today is called uh, Sending Kisses. Sending Kisses. Uh, uh, I just thought it'd be a fun opportunity <laughs> to give shout outs to people or or things or whatever you want to give shout outs to. Yeah, it could be related uh, to funeral. It you could can be this blow week. a little kiss, make a little note, and send it and off. Send it. Uh, I, I can begin. Yes, um, please. And feel free if I send one to someone and you want to send it to them too, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like Patrick and Jeremy, um, mm. our writers, and all of our writers over the years, they are truly incredible. And uh, I'd love to just and just <laughs> send a little note to to Jeremy and Patrick, and also Jeremy. And we're going to talk about this in in an upcoming episode. But uh, Jeremy and I, you know, we built the Lacroix Wall, and, yeah. and the Lacroix Wall did fall this in 2023. The Great we, Lacroix Wall. We fall. had it yeah. had to come down, Luckily but it was uh, just one tower. But it's been it's been so fun to work with them. Uh, I love and I also love writing chosen jokes with them. It's so fun uh, because mm -hmm. <laughs> just a little insight. Whenever we're we're writing jokes and we're all sitting there talking. Whenever someone's like pitching a joke, they they do it in the chosen voice. Yeah. Nobody ever yeah. goes, oh, the chosen all... could say this. They'll be like, like, well, Amanda, <laughs> you always do this. And it's like it's like they we we're yeah. all there in the writers' so meeting deep. talking like the chosen. It's great. I so I want to send that off to love them. That. I'm gonna put Cute. a kiss on that too. Yeah, I will too. That too. Wow. That's yeah. good. They've That's been great. they've been great to work with. They That's really great. have been fantastic. I love yeah. it. Amanda, mm -hmm. I am going to send my kiss to Selena. Oh. Aww. I feel like my our schedules have been so insane and my schedules have been so insane and I've had like maybe a doctor's appointment or maybe something here and I'm like Selena, I I need an hour. Can you help me organize Smosh Mouth or whatever? And Selena is on it. She's kind, she's loving. She literally keeps me on track cuz otherwise I, I I, I would fail. Dude, can I, so I want to hop on that too. Me too, mwah, mwah. because she truly, she's she's producing on funeral and she has it's been. Killing dude, it. I we simply would not be able to get these writers meetings with you guys, especially you and Ian. No, I know. Oh, and she did all the writers meetings, and those are hard. And we needed more than one, and she killed it. And she's just on it, and she changes Always. your Google Calendar invite, and she's just. <laughs> She's, she's and she's right she's there, really and she's incredible. I, I, I got to add to it as well because you know, uh, actively while we're recording this, she is helping give notes on another episode yep. of Smosh yeah. Mouth. Uh, she's been doing a lot for us, and it's been a huge help. So sending kisses, yeah. sending kisses, yeah. guys. If if you want, if you want, you did you did already co-sign well, a lot of these letters. Yeah. So I mean, I feel. I mean, 
it's kind of generic, but I want to send my little kiss to everyone here who's been Aww. amazing to work with and, and you know, welcomes me in with open arms and and taking trust in some of the guidance that that I've provided. And yeah. it's been it's been really cool to witness you all grow with, I guess, my encouragement for you to to kind of explore, take risks, be yourselves, and to fully commit to doing what you do best. And also, I want to give a little kiss to my mom. Oh, oh Nani! Okay. Mom's, my I'll... mom's been calling me and checking in on me, and oh, and you know she's 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 known I've been stressed out about some things in my life. So, yeah, it's been it's been oh, nice. My mom, really my mom and I have been getting closer recently too. Which that's is really fantastic. Nice. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. that's the best. Too bad you're gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna be dead, mom. <laughs> mom, I'm gonna die. She's like, well, here's all the things I wanted to say. <laughs> she wrote got close you. right before I died. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Aw, short. Oh, it's okay. You you co-signed a bunch. Yeah, you, you sent out a lot of Look, kisses. You've been girl. busy. Mm, okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. This is what it is. Uh, and I'm gonna just send a kiss out to all the girls and the theys in this office, all the all the theys in this office, <laughs> because um, we've been freaking killing it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like so many of these decisions and so many of these things that I've been doing with this project specifically, like I wouldn't have felt as good about without like their support and their like push. And literally like, I never realized how important it was that I needed to hear some of that support sometimes and getting that push. And like, you know, like when I was like, I don't know if I should do Bikini Girl and Aaron Dougal's like, it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I don't know if, if I should do this. And, and Selena and Emily are like, oh my God, yeah, that's amazing, do that. It's like, I, I like, it's a just really cool to have such mm -hmm. a supportive team and we're killing it. I'm just proud of the- of We love you. So I, I I really cannot tell you enough. Like this show is going to be huge. Get your tickets. You do not want to miss this. Mm -hmm. We've been working on it for months. It's going to be huge, and it is going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal. brutal. Yeah. Well, Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. Today. Thank you. That was amazing. That was so Thanks much for fun. Having yeah. Us. yeah, Anthony. Good luck. <sighs> and good night. <laughs> and good night. Yeah. Yeah. Bad night. Whoa! <laughs> the sign. Uh, wouldn't that suck right. if I died right now? At that the end would of this suck. Episode? Yeah, that we'd suck. have to load what you up in the casket. Wait yeah. till after the funeral. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Wait okay, till after the great. funeral. Is, you. I know you put a lot of work in it. Yeah, this. please, for me. Yeah, for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. guys. Get your tickets. Smosh.rip. Bye. See you later. Bye.